A very good afternoon to you. We begin with breaking news on the state of the economy. The International Monetary Fund has cut the UK's growth forecast, saying Brexit has put a spanner in the works. Theresa May and her Justice Secretary, Liz Truss, are under pressure tonight to condemn what have been described as serious and unjustified attacks on senior judges. At least four people have been killed and 32 people injured in a series of blasts in tourist resorts in Thailand. In one of the attacks, it's thought devices were hidden in plant pots and detonated remotely with mobile phones. Uh, just some uh, breaking Olympic news coming into uh, Sky News Centre from uh, Rio. Uh, Great Britain's Liam Heath and John Schofield have won a silver medal in the men's kayak double 200 metres at the Games. Well, let's talk to our political editor, Faisal Islam. He's in Westminster. Very good evening to you, Faisal. So David Cameron considered his position over the summer and he decided it was the right thing for him to go. Yeah, it's certainly a change of view, Gamal, over the summer. We are seeing bombing from the sea, from the air. There have been accusations from both sides about the use of chemical weapons. You must feel, in many ways, helpless that all of this is going on, all these accusations are being levelled, and we are seeing it play out in front of our eyes day after day, week after week, yet nothing, nothing has been done about it. Well, I feel enraged, but I also feel now that we have to say it's not hopeless. I mean, we cannot fail anymore, the population of Aleppo. They said that you're the ones who have failed to negotiate with them for terms that they don't believe is anything too out of the ordinary. They say they are completely stretched as it is at this moment in time. They are at breaking point. And uh, with these new proposals, with this new contract, that's going to continue. Well, I think they should look at the details. And, and just to correct something that uh, Dr Lonsdale said earlier in the programme that I just caught the end of, he says this is a big risk. Do you concede that now you've lost the confidence, you've lost the support from a vast majority of people who are supposed to be working for the NHS, are supposed to be working under you? So, I mean, do you feel your position is tenable? Can you continue doing your job? Well, the job of the health secretary is to make sure that we give the safest possible care for patients. OK, we just want to give you uh, an update on that breaking news I brought to you a, a few moments ago regarding that shooting in that Paris suburb of uh, Saint-Denis. Uh, according to uh, police uh, officials, there have been exchanges of gunfire and special SWAT teams are on the scene. One of uh, a number of counter-terror operations that have been happening since the attack on uh, Friday in uh, many European uh, cities, including one at a hotel in a Paris suburb used by six of last Friday's attackers. Now, in that uh, Paris suburb, in that hotel, pizza boxes and syringes were found strewn across the rooms, which fugitive Salah Abdel Salam uh, paid for with his personal credit card. So, ahead of us are 10 weeks of campaigning before that referendum on the 23rd of June. We now have two official campaigns. On one side, Britain stronger in Europe, and on the other, votes leave. And here's the Sky News poll of polls, an average of the most recent polls from all of the different polling organisations. That suggests a slight lead for the in campaign. If we can just step out the way for you, you can see some of the uh, protesters. They've already arrived. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. We are anticipating a lot more protesters here throughout the course of this day as the local council uh, listens to the debates, continues to listen to the arguments. Imagine walking down the road knowing all too well that down the way it could be lined with improvised explosive devices. Well, this is the reality for these troops. Life at home is a world away from life in Afghanistan, and that's a reality these soldiers come to terms with quickly. Greg Rutherford, how much did he want that gold medal? Oh, you, you, you feel for him. I mean, it's an incredible achievement getting that bronze medal nonetheless, but uh, yeah, I get the sense that this isn't the last we've seen of him. But it just shows you how high the bar is for Team GB, that bronze is being seen you know, as, as not good enough. Yeah, but and these athletes are so hard on themselves. They go for gold, don't they? Yeah, they do. And as Charlie said, you know, I mean, London 2012, when you had that Super Saturday, that was so unique because it was London. It was our Olympics mm. and all that energy that comes with it. But mm. the guys are doing so well. They're continuing to do well. And we are halfway through the Games. Halfway through and Lots third in the medal table. Um, Gamal, what else is happening? Uh, we've got some uh, breaking news for you coming in from the United States. City leaders have appealed for calm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, after violence erupted following a police shooting. I think your point, Ian, is, is very important, the fact that yes. when you go to school, it's about interaction, social mm. interaction. When In your later life, when you're 
working in that working environment is all about mixing with other people. So that you need that preparation in your formative years to be able to you have move to on learn, in later life. You have to learn how to get on with people you don't like for situations really? like this. Really? Perhaps she's feeling stressed out and anxious after the past two weeks of political uncertainty. Come on. Yeah, indeed, Isabel. Uh, you might want to pay a visit to Britain's first cuddle agency <laughs> if you are feeling stressed or anxious, uh, where you can buy soothing hugs and attention, or you can come to me, I'll give you some soothing hugs and attention. Uh, Jane Thine is here to explain how it works. She's got today's morning story.